Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. We are the Odds Couple. He's Mike Brenner. I'm Peter Loshak. This is the NBA Odds Couple for, show for the uh, NBA playoffs Tuesday, April Ooh. 25th. Mike Brenner, uh, last year you had a great record in the NBA playoffs overall, and you're really picking it up now. Let's throw the record up. I believe I, I believe you're 16 and nine officially. Uh, I think it's uh, 17 in our show. and nine. Is it 17 and nine? Yeah. You're kicking ass and uh, and definitely uh, doing well. You're really picking up steam right now. You had a nice winner with the Hawks. I had that one as well yesterday. I yes. had one loser with Milwaukee. Unfortunately, though, I went on the Hawks. One way, and I went on Milwaukee four different ways. Uh-oh. So uh, Ooh, them take, damn uh, bucks—they yeah. didn't show up, Pistol Pete, and I'm a little yeah. disappointed at their effort. I'm surprised they didn't show up. And the funny part is, like, my, when I first saw that game, I said, "All right, I'm just going to take the team total over," yeah. which actually wound up pushing. Exactly. But then I started to like get all crazy, and I was like, "No, I'm yeah. going to take them on the quarter, the half, the this, it, and then you that." Just hoard yourself uh, out. By yeah, God. but but uh, but yeah, they, I thought they were going to. Uh, I mean, I guess uh, they didn't I, even show up. Yeah, I mean, Toronto know? showed up offensively, and sure and then did, that was boy. it. So, but Mike Brenner, you are uh, you're definitely uh, in a zone right now in the NBA playoffs. We'll see what you can tell us yeah, about the but that was games. yesterday, so let's That's just right. try to keep it going one day. Th- again, you know? three tough games tonight Oof. because uh, I'll tell you, you, you know, with the games yesterday, again, I liked Atlanta as soon as it came out, and I said because, uh, you know, remember I compared it with the other Houston game uh, before against OKC where I said that the yes. numbers suggested that in game four, Houston was probably going to be a good bet to, to change and that in the Atlanta game, the stats that I saw were not yeah, suggesting so. that. So yesterday I liked uh, two plays. Today, I don't know what I'm thinking here. OKC at Houston. OKC's getting seven. Yeah. And, of course, uh, you know, there was the first game where Houston blew him out, but the other games were, were much closer. Sure, sure. But Seven's you know, kind of a lot of points. What do you think? Well, it is, but I think a lot of things have changed. I think they grabbed the momentum back for sure mm-hmm. in the last game. And not just that. You can't tell me they're not watching uh, Golden State now resting. All right, They know they got to get this done. They can't mm-hmm. fool around. They got to, you know, finish this team off right now tonight. So what I'm going to do, Pistol Pete, I'm going to pull the third quarter Yep. Uh-huh. That's right. I'm pulling the trigger on the third quarter with the Rockets. Okay. And again, it's not out. I'm going to give yeah. the, the pinnacle opener or whatever yeah, you sure, think sure, sure. market opener. I'm thinking It'll it's probably, probably like going to be minus two. Exactly. I think that's Ish. a sharp play. And they have uh, definitely come out in certain spots yeah. on the third quarter and turned it on. And I'm also pistol peak going to pull the trigger on the full game really? minus the seven. Now, obviously, your opinion is much more valuable than mine in NBA no, in I general. But no. I was I was thinking OKC yeah. because I was thinking that OKC. Well, first of all, the full game it opened at seven and a half. Now it's down to a seven. So we can give you minus yeah. seven, minus 103. I, I agree with you on the third quarter because, uh, you know, later in the game is when West, Westbrook starts to get a little bit tired yes. and uh, when Houston's depth uh, starts to matter more. Uh, so I can certainly see that. I was thinking that OKC might shoot better from the free throw line here than they did in well, game Well, they're going to need more than that, Pete. you got to get some help yeah. from Aladapo. He's shooting terrible. You know, Andre Roberson, he can't hit the broad side yeah. of a barn right now. And you have some infighting in the locker room. There's mm-hmm. people pointing fingers. There's all kinds of stuff. The media builds a lot of it up. But I'm telling you, Russell Westbrook can't be easy to play with yeah. because, and it's nothing against him. He's a beast, but you just don't have any cohesiveness in the offense. Nene really had a hell of a game, 28-10 and 10, I think last time out. I look for him to have another big game, and mm-hmm. I think Eric Gordon's going to go off tonight. I think Lou Williams is going to get involved. This team knows that tonight's the night. The place is going to be rocking. Pistol Pete, third All quarter, right. and, the, and full the full game. game. Right, just, uh, just yeah. you know, not to belabor the point, but just no. let's discuss it. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, for all the things that you've said, a bunch of these games have been close, and uh, Houston, I mean, uh, OKC has been competitive not yeah. all the time, but but a lot of the time. And they have, but Pete, something happened at the end of the last game, mm-hmm. and when you have a mental breakdown like that, 14 seconds left, you're not fouling anybody, uh, little, literally let them go down the floor. That's a mental mistake that can happen. That right. comes from coaching, and it goes all the way down to your leader on the floor, which is Westbrook. That little that whatever episode mm-hmm. I think is the reason that Houston runs away tonight. All right. Well, I'll tell you what I, I will it, do. Pete. I will take the first half over. 114 okay. and a half minus trigger. 110. Houston's at home. When they're at home, they're able yeah. to establish the pace a lot more. What was the and first I think half that, over? Uh, 114 and a half. Which That's is respectable. Not, you know, yeah. I mean, Houston might come out and, you know, put up 65 or they something. They could. And, and I think yeah. if OKC is going to have any type of thought of, of winning this, they're going to come out early. So mm-hmm. that might be a good call there. All right. But you are totals low shack, though. Come on. Make it official. My totals plays, even in the NBA, are way less shitty than my, than my spreads. <laughs> Way less. By an order of several orders of magnitude. All right. Now let's move on to the next game. This is a tough one. Yes. Memphis and the Spurs. Wow. Man, I still can't believe it. I took, uh, I'm just going to say it one more time. I, I took yeah. the Spurs uh, on the money line that, uh, I forgot what, what game was it. It was game, uh, game three or, or no, game four. Uh-huh. And uh, I got them at minus 165. They closed it like minus 200, Mike yes. Brenner. And, and what happened? Lost. Yeah. How'd that work out, as you would say? How? Ca- yeah. All right. So now we have, <laughs> now we have uh, the Spurs, obviously, uh, minus 10. And obviously the first two games in this series were at home and they did get double digit wins and cover. So obviously you, they can get you, those kinds of wins. But do you know they're, I think, if I'm correct, they're 1-7 ATS last eight. Um, Who? Uh, Spurs. 
What do you mean? I, I believe they're one and six or one and seven at home. ATS the last seven plays. Well, that's impossible because the first two games. Of All this right. Series, well, then they, I don't know what I looked at. Then. Yeah. Okay. They covered the first two games of the series at home. Okay. Uh, and, bo- and, and both won both All right, by then double I must digits. have read something yeah. different somewhere. But here's mm-hmm. what I like in this. I like one play in this. Okay. I like the Spurs on the second quarter. Okay. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Hey, there's <laughs> a method to the yeah, madness. Yeah. Sure. 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 I dug deep into this last night, this morning. Mm-hmm. I've been all over it, and I just can't find that. You know, so I broke down some quarters, and this is it. This is what right. I love. And I'm thinking it's probably going to be about two and a half. It might even be three, but yeah, I'm yeah. okay with it. Whatever the market opener, I'm comfortable Second with it. Second quarter. All yes. right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So the Spurs Second do sometimes quarter. start off a little bit slow. I mean, yep. you know, I guess my lean would be to Memphis, but again, the Spurs did get two double digit wins already yes. at home, so they can clearly. Yeah. cover a number like this. And can uh, Mike Conley do on the road what he did at home? Of course he can, but you yeah. know what? They're going to probably double down on him. They're going to let these other guys uh, shoot that aren't hot right now mm-hmm. because you got a lot of players from Memphis right now that aren't hitting yeah. anything. And Zach Randolph's really got to step up, but I heard he's got a nagging injury they're trying to keep mm-hmm. quiet. So mm-hmm. I think everybody's going to be fired up at San Antonio. I think Aldridge is going to come out and he has to. He has mm-hmm. to come out on fire. And of course, Leonard, I don't think we have to say much more. Yeah. He is yeah. going to be the man tonight. All he, right. I love that second quarter. And that's okay. I, that's it. I got three picks tonight. All right. So as far and as far as the spread, that one could easily go over or under. And yeah. you don't want to talk about the Utah Clippers game. Sure, that's interesting we'll talk because about I mean, Griffin yeah. obviously out. Yep. Hayward uh, I, had food poisoning. I believe he's going to be back. Gobert is. is back. Yes. And I don't know, man. Utah now on the road catching three and a half. Uh, I know. That's I know. tempting. It is. I don't it's know. too tight, though. I think that mm-hmm. uh, you know the Clippers got to bring everything they have, and I think you're going to see a few players step up that you know haven't had to do it as of yet. And I don't so you know. Think even even with no Griffin, but with Utah getting Gobert and Hayward back. But hey, was not 100% food poisoning. I've had it, Pete, and I'll tell you right now. I know he's had a couple days. He's got to hydrate again. but And he's a warrior, though. I think he'll start off slow. He might miss a lot of shots, but I think he'll pick up steam at the end. See, I would think that food poisoning would be something that once you're over it, you're over it. It's no. not like a nagging. Like, no, uh, Pete, you'd be surprised. It's really? more than just one day. Yeah, hell yeah, man. It's it's painful, and it's it's not just a one day, okay, I'm fine, I'm 100%. Uh-huh. I know, but he had it yeah. a few days ago. Of course ago, he did. He did, know. but he's dragging. You know, he's dragging. His, we'll see what happens, Pete. He might come out on fire and just kick some ass. Now, if I had to leave, I would probably go Utah. Mm, uh, yeah, right. Yeah, that's but, what I would as well. Yeah. Three and a half. But, You're going to uh, see Gobert have another big game. But DeAndre Jordan's going to be all over him. You know, mm-hmm. It's going to be tight. That's when I'm kicking back and joining it as a fan. I got no feel for that game. Yeah, Pete. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. It's interesting mm. that it, uh, it opened at three, and now it's moved up to three and a half. And I'm just not quite. What I do mean, you think Utah- about the total? Uh, again, that one could easily go either way. The first two games in uh, in uh, in L.A. Uh, you know went under. I think the total is yep. probably very close to being uh, dead on. Okay. All right, my lean would be Utah, but I'm not going to pull the trigger on that All one, right. even though no, I would really it. love to. All right, so I'm just going to go with OKC in Houston on the first quarter over. I'm mean, sorry, the first half over. And what okay. are your picks, Mike Brennan? My picks are the Rockets on the third quarter. I will give you the market opener, and also on the full game mm-hmm. minus seven. Pistol Pete, my line shopper, got me that line. And the Spurs on the second quarter market opener probably be between two and yeah. a half and three. I'm feeling it. Pete, All and right, I like Mike it. Mike Brenner, I your like record it. speaks for itself this year and last year, and uh, that wraps it up. We'll be back tomorrow yeah. for the Wednesday card. Just two games tomorrow, two interesting yes. games, though, and uh, hopefully we'll be back with some winners. Well, we will, but we also got to do a shout out to okay. our fans, Pistol Pete. You know, seriously, we got yes. some loyal yes. followers. Yes. Thank you guys for the nice comments, and thank you for hanging in there through thick and thin because that's what it's about. And also, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button because we're the odds couple. We're coming to you, baby. Well, this episode of The Odds Couple is over, but if you give us a like and click SBR's logo at the bottom of the screen to subscribe, then you'll get all the upcoming videos as soon as they come out. And don't forget to take advantage of our website. There's free picks, live betting lines, and sportsbook reviews, and ratings guides, and a whole lot more. Check it out now.